Hello, Power BI people. I thought I'd do a short video to highlight a visual called the PureViz visual. Um, I use Charticulator a lot, which I think is the best no-code custom visual, but this one also has uh, a ton of flexibility. Um, and then this one, if you haven't checked it out, I encourage you to do so. Um, you can add it to your report, uh, go to the, to the App Store, and this is what it looks like there. And once you add it, it, it um, shows up here over in the visualizations pane. Um, this visual isn't for charts and tables or passing a lot of data, but it really is a very flexible tool uh, for having card visuals, basically, that can have multiple values, um, lots of formatting, flexibility, uh, and you're really just limited by your own imagination. Um, I think, it, from what I can tell, it's totally free in desktop, and a lot of great stuff is free even when you publish, but a lot of the animation kind of features uh, might be premium when you go to publish that. I haven't tried it yet, but it, it looks like uh, that's the case. So let's let's do a quick demo with this visual and hopefully get you uh, excited about it too. Um, if you're learning from these videos and want to see the future ones, please subscribe to the Hoosier BI uh, YouTube channel below and, and follow me on Twitter. All right, so the visual I'm going to make today or show you how I made is this thermometer visual. There is a uh, thermometer, thermometer visual in the uh, app source that you can get and it's a good visual uh, and uh, but I needed one of these and uh, with a, that was a little different and so I thought I would just show you to, to get your own creative juices going but you can really make anything you can make in PowerPoint you could you can make here as well and so this is the visual here uh, the data model here I don't actually have any data I just wrote a bunch of uh, constant measures where I just created measures and I have one that's a, a goal here which is a value of 200 that I put at the top of the visual and then I'm using this total to see uh, where we are and in this case the the fill is dynamic and it just starts at zero here and then you know once the goal um, I have this other measure here percent of goal which really just divides those two other ones and multiplies it by 100 so you get a, a value of um, uh, not the the total is currently 25 and so it would divide 25 by the 200 and multiply 100 to get the the fill amount that's that's showing there and uh, let me just show you how I made this this is what I'll jump over to PowerPoint in a second but this is what it looks like in PowerPoint when I've sort of done a control a and and highlighted all the things um, let's jump over to PowerPoint to show you what this one looks like and basically I built this myself. I made a circle, um, set the dimensions to one by one. I put a small shape there. I put the big one here, which is going to be the variable part so that my um, fill starts at zero and goes uh, to whatever value there. I put these uh, marks here and then I uh, arranged them, uh, spaced them out uh, vertically and aligned them. And then I just um, put something here that I just so that there was some space above the top of, of it with, with no dynamic fill. And in the visual, I actually changed this to, to match the, the unfilled portion of this so that it, it just uh, keeps going a little bit past it. And so, you know, all these things, um, once, once you're, you're done creating what you want, you highlight them all, and then you right-click and do Save as Picture. And then you would choose an SVG. And so that's the file type that's needed uh, to go into um, this visual. So once you've saved your SVG, you can then, um, you know, create a new. So if I go to here, create a new visual, you need to um, add at least one value to the data field to be able to do it. Um, there are samples out there you can get, or you can just load your own. So this is where you would go and upload your SVG file, and then you'll you'll get options there that look like this. If I go back to this, and if I go to edit, and so all the things you've put into there show up as things that you can modify. Um, so if I look at at this one here, um, I went to this uh, special shape option here. I chose that I want it to dynamically fill from bottom to top like a thermometer would. And then I can actually apply a, a function here and I just um, use this percent of goal uh, value here to, to do the fill. 
Um, so that returns a value from zero to 100, which would be, you know, empty or completely filled and, and hitting our goal. And then you can also do things like if I click on this one, um, you know, it came in in PowerPoint, I had a value of 100, but I can give it custom text here. So in this case, uh, I'm putting the, the goal there. So I can dynamically put whatever goal I want there. It could be a million dollars, whatever. Um, I put that value there. And then I, as long as you do the right DAX formula that returns zero to 100, you could show your, your progress against the goal. And again, this is just one example of um, a visual that you can do and uh, hopefully it gets you you thinking uh, as well there's there's all sorts of um, animation features in there as well so you saw in powerpoint i had just a bunch of text boxes there you can actually play with the uh, animation feature so i've made like a ticker multi-card visual here and again there's one of those in the app source as well it's a good visual um, but again it just gives you tons of flexibility so you know here you can go and i actually i think did it to the whole uh, text group and I just you know again this is all trial and error but I you know started it from instead of zero zero 1600 uh, I don't know what that's pixels or what but then to minus 1600 and then I was able to get that that scrolling um, kind of feature there uh, but again I encourage you to play with this you maybe have seen the demo for this visual with the windmill you know you can do you can rotate things and though that could be the speed of that can be dynamic uh, all that stuff so Again, tons of flexibility, and you're really just limited by your imagination, and, and but it really lets you leverage all of the the great capability of PowerPoint and make whatever visual you need and then bind your data uh, directly to it. All right, so hopefully uh, you can use this visual in the future. And again, a reminder to uh, subscribe and, and follow me on Twitter. Thank you.